steals a truck filled with tools. The owner of the truck was here in Indy from out of state working on a nonprofit project with ties to the Colts. And as Fox 59's Lindsay Eaton shows us tonight, volunteers are refusing to let this crime slow them down. There are tools all over what is now a construction zone, but the real tool to this project is a desire to help others. In just a few short weeks, this building is going to be complete um, and start being able to use to, to help restore children's lives. This building on the city's east side will be the national headquarters for Not Today, a nonprofit dedicated to stopping child sexual abuse, exploitation and trafficking. It was founded by Colts coach Frank Reich and his wife Linda. Frank and I have been coast to coast and we have been all the way on the West Coast in San Diego and then East Coast, Philadelphia, and people thought, okay, in Indianapolis, that doesn't happen here. It happens here. A faith-based group called Eight Days of Hope usually travels across the country helping rebuild after natural disasters. This safe place is a new job for them. This is the largest project we've ever done. All of the work is donated, which makes what happened earlier this week hit even harder. Someone stole a truck that belonged to one of the volunteer leaders. You're just saddened. You know, it's just the grief. Your heart's like, oh man, you know, they're, they're doing a good thing and look at this. So yeah, disappointment. This is Adam Hames. This video is him working on the Not Today building. It's not just his truck that's gone. It's most of his tools too. And some were really special. Those tools were as important to him as the truck because these are tools that were given from his grandfather. Instead of getting mad, they're giving grace. We all make mistakes and we've all fallen. We've all blown it. Most likely the thief didn't realize who he was stealing from. We're trying to do a good thing. We're trying to help people. We're trying to help children. We're trying to help humanity and make a difference in our community. And for, for people who are trying to tear down what we're trying to build, it's disheartening. This crime isn't going to stop this team. They're on a mission to help children and they're going to make it happen. We're not going to let that get us down. We are moving forward. On the city's east side, Lindsay Eaton, Fox 59 News. Indianapolis.